India's declared we're on the princely federation. The Netherlands, to put it bluntly, is an export economy. One of the main issues affecting our nation in recent years is that almost all of our exports go to Germany, meaning that now the Reich's willingness to engage in overseas trade has plummeted. Our own economy suffers. In an effort to diversify our export partners, we should approach the nearby Scandinavians or look beyond Europe to the Americas for new markets. So to Scandinavia, in Finland, Cuba, or Colombia. Cuba could be a good one. Finland could be too. What is Finland? National populist. Again? Cuba. Eternal autocrat. And Colombia. Social conservatives. So Colombia is the most ideologically aligned with us, and they do have the best relations with us too. Yeah, definitely Colombia. South America. How many convoys are they at? Oh dear, less than a hundred. Whoops. Meanwhile, Irish are fighting against submarines. These guys are all repaired again. So, I think it's time... ...to have you back in recon. Have you back on strike force. Democles Project. German spies have recently uncovered papers of a research and development program sponsored by the members of the Third International, dubbed the Democles Project. It's an extensive multi-nation study into the destructive powers of nuclear fission with the intent of creating bombs with destructiveness vastly superior than anything now known. Unfortunately, as soon as the strike fleets leave port, we run out of uh, oil very quickly. battle. Big battle. Union of Britain versus German submarines and the Dutch fleet. We have heavy guns. They have none. So they can't hit these ships. We can hit all of them. Plus we have... Actually, they have aircraft carriers too. So hopefully you're providing a bit of a screen. We're actually running away because they are doing quite a lot more damage to us. Yeah, they sank a destroyer. That was not a good engagement for us at all. Even if they're... Wow, their positioning is awful. I wonder why that was. Did we just lose a fast battleship? No. Why are you on two out of three, then? Don't know. I don't think you should be. Oh, it's probably this. This is... Yeah, that's a battleship. Okay, that's why. Fair enough. And now I really do feel like we need to be importing a ton more oil. Oh, there's the problem. Dutch East Indies aren't sending me in nearly enough. Uh, Ottomans. Hello. How's it going? That should help. Alright, so we now need to do the South Africa policy, so that we can work on this. South Africa is populated by a number of Dutch descent Boers, making its political fate in these troubled times particularly concerning to our own domestic political scene. There have been a number of calls from all sides of the left-right spectrum to consider our approach. That's more like it. Sanka cruiser, 8 destroyers and 25 convoys. They have less than 50. And Britain without convoys is really screwed. Does Suriname do anything? Yeah, it produces uh, aluminium. 
It's one of the reasons we're actually able to do um, aircraft construction. Although we are needing to import quite a lot still. But a lot of our industry is actually assigned to aircraft production at the moment, so it's not that surprising. Still 42 fighters short. Germany, meanwhile, throwing more and more bodies at the French. We've lost 1.5 million, they've lost 700,000. This is not good, Germany. Can you stop doing this? Like, Britain has lost a lot more than France has, and that's just at sea. Although the 25 convoys we just caught might have been soldiers actually trying to get across to France. Which we intercepted and destroyed. Yay, a dreadnought dead. So we may be about to lose a sub- nope, he, got he disappeared. He made it away. Sank the dreadnought. Nice. They're getting awfully close to 200 ships now. I do love the fact that they have more ships than they have convoys. This amuses me. By quite a large margin. In fact, they probably don't even have, like, the steel supplies to repair those convoys. Ooh, and oil. Oil's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Advanced submarines. Oh, what fun we shall have. I'm not going to research improved snorkel though, it's 1938, oh it's 38, I need to get advanced computing, I also really need to get radio and radar, oh boy, oh boy, I don't think I can really take the credit for this one, I think this was Germany, but two cruisers, 20 destroyers and 37 convoys, 37. Like, they cannot afford to lose that a second time. Dutch fleet's arriving soon. indo Chinese Union declared on Siam. That's a lot of submarines on our side too. These destroyers are in trouble. Not to mention all of my fast battleships that are here too. How fast are my fast battleships? They lost four destroyers and a submarine and a couple of convoys. I'm just very curious, how fast are my fast battleships? Again, bearing in mind they have level one engines, which is super annoying. 23 kilometers, yeah. They can't really do anything against destroyers, they'll just be too fast. Because of the damage that we're doing to the British economy, they're not getting their submarines and things out, which means I'm just getting trade completely uninterrupted. Same as the German Empire, which is just going to make both of us even stronger. South Africa policy is going to take a while, isn't it? Yeah, see, Flanders Wallonia doesn't actually exist anymore. So we've basically already done the unsloting of death, so Belgian policy doesn't lead to anything for us. So I think after this we can return to the West Indies trade hub and the loan to Shell. Did we get anything from our trade with Colombia, by the way? High inflation, abandoned the gold standard. Verkverschaffing. Irish profits, 
Ship a day. Flemish Dutch government, standardized Dutch language, economic recovery, and Ambenten Arenvoort revolt. So, no. Short answer. Beep beep, hurrah! And guns! Yes, thank you! Uh, Baltic Dutchy for guns. Guns are good. Yeah, it's not. I know it's not. And I keep saying kilometers, but I mean not. And I am once again short on steel. Oh, Germany. Eventually, we're going to be able to just trade through the English Channel, which feels like it's just going to be taking the piss, but... Yeah, really? You're using a strike force for this? Is that really necessary? That's not a very good use of strike forces. One destroyer and 11 submarines. Can I not make that mistake, please? Dutch Research Institute is after Belgium, isn't it? I don't think so. Oops, I passed it, didn't I? Oh, yeah, it is. Flanders owned by the Netherlands, so yeah. Okay, we probably do need to do Belgium. Where's the other one? Oh, it's down here. Long way away. How many French convoys? The French have got 150. Like three times more than Britain at the moment. This is the kind of battle that requires my strike fleet. Russia announces her ambitions. Numerous nations in Eastern Europe have already recalled their embassies in Russia and the world is waiting for Germany's response to this blatant attack on their sphere of influence. So they're going after the Caucasus. My submarines are here. That's a lot of convoys. My subs leaving? Yeah, they're trying to. Empire of Japan's declared war on Germany, East Asia. Right. Although I still haven't called in the Dutch East Indies. The Dutch East Indies are fine. I also love the fact that the Dutch East Indies have half as many factories as I do. Like they've been just having a whale of a time over here. In fact, one thing which I totally forgot to do is I could be using Indonesian troops in my units. And probably should have been. I'm going to cancel these two. Uh, not that it's going to really help. I don't have the points for this, but we can start to train those instead. Which will use Indonesian manpower instead of my own. Which is definitely something I should have done a while ago. Possibly even replacing my own divisions with those. That was a mistake. We lost... Oof. Eight submarines, 
I mean, Canada lost most of them. Canada's subs are probably ancient. Into war, oh, pre <laughs> into war and pre Welsh Creeks. So they're basically just floating barrels. We only sank eight convoys. That was pathetic. Come on, people. We can do better than this. See? How are the oceans? Enemy superiority 2,500, 2,700, 2,900. We are dominating them in every single sector, basically. The South African Question. Throughout the 19th and early 20th centuries, the Dutch government lended a helping, if subtle, hand to the descendants of Dutch colonists in South Africa, boosted by a strong public opinion in the Netherlands in favour of the former. At the turn of the 20th century, however, the sentiment started to change, perhaps under the influence of the apartheid concept. The question is whether we should continue supporting the Boers or whether we should support the Dominionist side instead, who have the moral high ground and are in fact also represented by descendants of Dutch colonists such as Smuts and Hofmeyer. So continue the support of the Boers. Or support democracy in South Africa henceforth. I'm still going to support the Boers. Also, they're winning, I believe. So... Now... We're going to help the Boers. And then I think we can basically just hold off here. The Boers are our brethren and we cannot abandon them now. Oh, it's just a bypass. Belgian policy it is. With our political crisis finally ended, it's time to consider our position with Belgian question. The one downside to this crazy war against the British right now is Fortress Britain is going to be in full swing. Summon the fleet. Aha! The fleet have been summoned! Terrible screening though, I suspect because of the positioning. Low positioning because new ships go and join to combat, minus 49%. So once that disappears, our screening is going to suddenly become a lot better. Pride of the fleet took a bit of damage there. But we are sinking a lot more of their ships than they are of ours. Because new ships just keep on joining. Oh no, those are leaving. Those are my destroyers who are fleeing the scene. No losses. I'd say this went okay. Come on, please tell me that my brand new destroyers can chase these guys down. They are fast! Oh, here comes the uh, Republican fleet, who immediately turn tail and start running. That's hilarious. And the reason they're doing that is because their positioning is now poor, because those ships just arrived, while my own new ships joining combat penalty is going down. Japan declared we're on the Philippines. Yeah, now we're crushing their fleet. Oh dear. Oops. That, that, that was a big oops. That was a very big oops. Now. Now is the time. Twenty destroyers, four submarines, three dreadnoughts, a fast battleship, and two cruisers, plus of course one convoy. For no losses. Zero. Nada. None. Suck it, British Navy. <laughs> and like everyone's like, we want to be on your side now. Oh no, this is the call to arms against Japan, of course. Oh man. Rickety rickety wrecked! Absolutely. Mikeko, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel.
Pavilion. All right, so um, we do have a lot of ships that need repairs, though. By a lot, I mean all of them. Like, let's let's do the capitals first. One ship left. One solitary destroyer is like, I'm fine. Didn't hurt me. But repairs we can do. That's not a problem. And then we will also need to tell you, <laughs> don't do strike forces here anymore. And we'll also need to tell the recons, don't do recon here anymore. Mobile infantry. Excellent. Mass motorization. All infantry gain more organization. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Well, no. Doctrines are important. We just need to keep the doctrines going. If I always ask God. That's one thing about the naval game I'm a bit met on. You invest so much industry into it, and one battle can decide the entire campaign. So either you invest enough and win it, or the dockyard's a complete waste. That used to be the case. So one of the things which the latest patch for Man the Guns introduced is ship speed plays a much bigger role in whether they can actually escape a battle. Uh, it didn't used to. Before it was literally one fight, bang, one side's completely dead. Now you have very much more of a cat and mouse battle going on. Um... As you've seen, like, their capital ships keep on... That was kind of an exception, but their capital ships would get badly damaged, like mine have just been. Would return to sh to, uh, to port, repair, and then they'd be back out again. There's far fewer overall naval casualties over time. Like, we've been at war for almost a year, and the naval war is still very much raging. We're winning, we're coming out on top, but it's, it's still going. Like, they've still got 170 ships to go. I haven't gained or lost any. And France is at 85 or so. Germany's still at 305. I don't think Germany's lost one for a long time either. But there is definitely a lot more cat and mouse between naval engagements than there used to be. And now we're assigning a whole bunch of our uh, naval industry to repairs. So repairs are also a lot more important now than they used to be. So port strikes and the like could probably be quite decisive and having enough industry to actually repair damage. Like a uh, a proper naval war between Germany and Britain is going to be a slog and it probably will be decided by who has the best repair facilities. And also you have to kind of judge it, like do you want to keep repairing your old ships or do you want to be investing your dockyards into building new ships which can probably take out enemy old ships who's doing the repair old ship system. But obviously in the short term, that's going to leave you in a disadvantage because their fleet will be bigger because repairs are a lot cheaper. So this is them trying to call me into the war against Japan, which I would love to join, but also I really don't want to. <laughs> I feel like I need more submarines before we do. Ah, sod it. Where's the fun in not joining? Dutch East Indies still aren't in the war though, and I'm still not going to call them in because there's no real reason to. But we are now technically up against the Republican fleet, the French fleet, the Commune fleet, and the Japanese fleet. And the Germans just keep on throwing bodies away. Like, I'm sure that Germany's gonna lose this war now just because they're taking so many stupid casualties. For no gains. At least in the game where I was doing the Union of Britain, they didn't attack until much later, so even though they took absolutely colossal casualties, they at least had overwhelming force on their side.
Now, have my admirals leveled up at all? Level 5, so he's leveled up, but he hasn't got any more traits. Martin van Dolm? Not yet. Dorman? Has, actually. You could get Smokescreen Specialist. For a Strike Fleet, I don't think that's worthwhile. Oh god, Ironside really is hard to dig. Hard to get, isn't it? Wow, your maneuver is awesome. Huh. Meanwhile, Forstner, who is going to be better at just general brawling, could get safety first. I would like to get you Superior Tactician with Lone Wolf. That would be really strong. I'm wondering if safety first is really worth it. I'm not convinced. Oh. You're also getting air controller. Oh, because you keep fighting against um, enemy carriers. I think I can give you better AA. Right, I can afford another thing. Uh, Chief of Staff? Weapons Manufacturer? We can still get Artillery in Richtingen, can't we? No, Artillery in Richtingen was on the defensive side. There. So actually, Artillery in Richtingen is, yes, one that we need to do, especially because we are intending to do some gun research. Probably, maybe, at some point, possibly. I actually got one of my uh, subs. Damn it, Germany, you gave up my position. Plus, that was probably one of my tier ones. Yep, that was definitely a tier one. In fact, all of the tier ones are dead now. VNH demonstration during Prinzendach. Prinzjesdach is the day the Dutch government publicizes its plans for spending the next year. The Queen will read out the annual plans for the government and is usually a festive affair. However, this year the VNH has started a demonstration along the road where the Queen will pass, flying their black flags, beating up alleged syndicalists and using their party's greeting Jose towards Cornelis van Heerkerken, deputy leader of the VNH, who is present. The mayor of The Hague wants to let the police break up the demonstration as he fears it would pose a threat to public order and safety of the royal family. On the other hand, the VNH opposition is the municipal... Municipal Council of The Hague says it is an essential part of the freedom of speech and inserts the VNH will not attack the royal family. Remove them. Bye. 